Hey folks, I recently set up my first risograph printed comic book through the zine of the month club with paper press punch. And today it arrived in the mail and I haven't opened it yet. This is it, the printed pages. And I decided let's do an unboxing. Is that what it's called? An unwrapping of this mail and you can see how I react. Is it going to be good? Is it not? Exciting. I'm a little nervous because I've never done this process. Risograph is, it's like a Xerox machine, but you can do two colors at the same time. And it's, kind of, but it's, it's not like a Xerox machine. It's something like a mimeograph, something like offset printing. It's its own thing. And I've, People have been, you know, comics artists have been doing it for years, and I've never done it before. And I've always wanted to. So this is it. This is my first one, and it'll fold into a little tiny zine, each of these pages. It's by Paper Press Punch, a mom and pop op operation in Seattle. Scene of the Month Club. I did a two color zine uh, adapting a comic I drew for a class uh, a few weeks back of uh, a duck and a person and their inability to communicate. So that's what this will come out as. And if it, if it looks good, I'm going to send the comic to my Patreon supporters. Who, uh, pay at the level where they're supposed to get my publications and they haven't they haven't been getting a publication in a long time for me so I've got to make up for it this year and hopefully this will come out good and they will get a little comic book in the mail I'm kind of making this video for them as much as anything else This is not just my first risograph printed comic book. This is this is my first unboxing video ever. All right, here we go. Opening it up. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. It looks good. It's nicely wrapped in string and everything too. See the nice kind of blue and orange colors kind of uh colors called sunflower i think it's kind of an orange orangish yellow let's carefully unwrap this okay. oh, and there's more there's some on different colors of paper that's cool I also get copies of other people's zines from the Zine of the Month Club. It's me plus a few other people. Right, here's their official, um, it's our official card, Zine of the Month Club, club card, March 2022. And uh, looks like there were five of us who made zines. So that's what this bundle is. It's those five zines. I'm going to look at them a little later, but right now I want to show you the zine. It's called Quack, starring the duck who wants the human to understand him, but they cannot connect. Well, I didn't think it would be on colored paper. That's kind of cool and fun. Um, very carefully trying to get this string undone. Anyway, I'm happy with this. It's looking good. Here we go. We've got wow, a variety of paper colors. It's really fun. And then most of them are on nice white paper is what I ordered. Um, and some of the 
images are upside down because I'm going to fold it into a booklet. I think that's what I should show you next, but well, I just want to say I'm really happy with this. I'm so excited. My first risograph zine, and I don't think I goofed it up. I think it came out okay. So let's let's do the folding now. Okay, so this is going to be the other moment of truth. When I fold it, will it all line up properly? I'm a little nervous about this. Let's see. Okay, not too bad. Looks okay so far. I'm going to kind of try to be as precise as you can with these pocket zine folds. So I have my own method I like to do of folding the two sides in like this. And then folding them in the opposite direction just to make these creases nice and flexible. The light's not so good in here, but I think I'm folding it pretty precisely. Okay, so then it's folded that way, and then the next one, last fold, is hot dog bun style or lengthwise fold. And it's looking pretty good. I think the pages are mostly where they're supposed to be. This speech bubble goes a little bit into the crease, but maybe I planned it that way. I don't know. And this um, character is overlapping the fold, but I did plan that. This will be a two-page spread, so it'll look okay. I think this is going to look just fine. Um, so here's the trick to making this into a booklet. You need to cut cut out just this part of the middle. So I fold it in half like this and then cut from there to there. So I'm going to do that right now on camera. This is, I know this is not that exciting, but it's exciting for me. All right. my best precision cutting that I can do here. All right. There's the cut. Fold it lengthwise again. You push it together so that the middle separates and then you flatten the whole thing, putting the cover on the front. And then here's a little thing I do. Let me switch cameras again. You know, it's not, doesn't lay flat, so I just put it on a flat surface and smooth out the creases so that it lays fairly flat with the cover in front. So this zine is called Quack. It's a little zine about a duck and a person who can't seem to communicate. And it looks good. I think this is going to go out to Patreon supporters at the $5 and up level. That's the comic book fan level. You get a comic book. And I hope to send you a lot more in the year ahead. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Sorry this was kind of a long video, but an exciting moment for me. My first Risograph comic book. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.